Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and this is the 17th video part um, of the series and in this video part we are going to talk about vectors and for that I'm going to create a new C sharp script in here and I will call it vectors lesson okay so what a vector is um, a vector is basically a point in space okay if you're if you're in a two-dimensional space where you have only X and Y axis and um, at any point on that axis will be denoted by or will be represented by a vector 2 okay um, and um, in case of vector 3 I will I will go and explain it in in here uh, under um, inspector and then we'll also go and write some code about that so you'll see what I'm talking about so a vector 3 is basically um, a point in 3d space okay which will um, which will be denoted by an um, x value and a y value and a z value okay so any point in space um, will be uh, represented by a vector okay so let's say this uh, this box here is this cube here its position vector is 0 0 and 0 0.52 this will be its position vector okay and um, yeah just like that three points x y and z for ve vector 3 and two points x and y for vector 2 now let's go ahead and um, write some vectors here and discuss about them why we are talking about vectors because um, these are very important in games especially in unity 3d because um, whenever you want to find a location of um, of, of an object in 3d space you will be doing it in vectors okay like 0 0 and 0 0.52 is a vector is a vector 3 okay so sometimes instead of um, extracting each of x y and z values we'll just extract a vector c from it okay so now let's go ahead and do that then you'll understand what i'm talking about so let's create a vector 3 here vector 3 my vector is equal to new vector 3 and as you can see here it takes x y and z 3 values so let's pass in 0 0 and 0 0.5 5 okay so this will be our um, our vector which which will which will be defining a point in in our in our game and in in that 3d space okay let's say if 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 we have this object right here and we want to move it right there okay so now its position is around five so it will be zero zero and five okay and previously it was zero point zero five two okay now let's say whenever we play 
play our game or this game whenever we play it we want um, this object to be moved from from its current position which is this somewhere here 0 0.052 and move it over there at 0x 0y and 5z value okay so let's see how we can do this and by doing this example we'll also uh, we'll also be able to know um, about how we change um, positions using vector 3 okay so let's create this vector because this will be our vectors position sorry our, our, our cubes position whenever we'll play our game okay okay so whenever our game is started take that game object with which this script is attached to take is its transform and take its position and set it equal to my vector yeah now let's go ahead and see if it if it if it's if it works or not first of all let's go and drag and drop this on here now see where this cube is right now it is at 0 x 0 y and 0 0.7 z now let's play it and see if it changes its position or not okay here you see so when we played our game um, we were able to move our object from one point in 3d space to another point in 3d space and we did it by using a vector 3 okay so vectors are basically used for um, defining points in space okay so they they will be very helpful if if we are moving things around like if we are moving a character around okay and we can also make something like this um, like let, let's but before we do that before we do actually move our um, object constantly uh, while playing the game we need to discuss about some more predefined vectors which are there which we can use okay so let's see vector 3 dot let me see vector 3 dot okay so this is a vector just like this one here we have created our own vector by putting um, by creating a new vector here and passing in these values okay so this vector is actually 0 0 5 but we can also create a vector 3 0 vector new vector 3 insert three zeros in here okay so this will be our zero vector sometimes uh, we do need this vector okay sometimes we need to um, reset um, our game objects a uh, position to the origin and for that we we use this vector so instead of creating our a zero 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 vector by ourselves we can use something very simple and that is vector 3.0 okay so this will be equal to this thing and 0, 0, 0 inside of it okay so this this will be very handy sometimes um, and we won't be needing um, to even create this variable here we, we even 
don't need to create a new vector 3 variable and we also don't need to create a new vector 3 and put zeros in there but instead we'll just write vector 3.0 and it will mean all that okay there are other vectors also like vector 3. Dot back vector 3. Dot back is actually 0 0 and minus 1 okay so it um, it is actually um, um, minus 1 in z value okay so this if you if you write 0 0 and minus 1 and you keep adding 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 that vector within itself this z value will be going negative and it will be going back and back just like that okay so if it's here and we add a um, a vector 3 dot back in in our current position here then it will move minus 1 unit back and if we add it again it will go minus 1 unit back and so and so it will keep going if we, if we will keep adding um, vector 3 dot back in our um, current position of of our game object okay so if we will add vector 3 dot back back here and we'll keep on adding that it will be going back and back and back okay similarly we have a vector 3 dot forward so let's write vector 3 dot back here and then vector 3 dot forward okay so what what vector 3 dot forward does it adds plus 1 instead of minus 1 to the z value so if if we will be adding vector 3 dot forward in our in our current position what will happen this box will keep on moving forward every time we add vector 3 dot forward in it it will move one unit forward just like that so if we if we if we are creating a game in which um, we have to make a character move forward we will be doing that by using these vectors okay there are other stuff we will also be doing in in there but these vectors are very important and these are the um, basics I mean these are the building blocks you can say for your character to move or to do any positioning tasks within that uh, 3d space you will be using these vectors there are also some vectors like a vector 3 dot right you know what what that will do it will make your character or your object uh, towards right and we also have vector 3 dot left and let's see if if we have any other vector 3 dot this is a property yeah we have a down vector also which takes your character uh, one unit down and we we also have okay we also have vector 3 dot 1 which means 1 1 1 um, in this value okay this can be handy if if we are doing some scaling stuff and we are doing it evenly on all sides like let's say if we select this cube and scale it up just like that and we want to do it whenever a user click a button it should um, increase its size by one unit whenever a user clicks a button it will increase its size by one unit so that's where it can be handy but um, there can also um, more than one uses of this vector also 
we we also have vector three dot um, down and similarly we also have a vector three dot up which will take your character upwards okay so you can choose these vectors instead of creating your own vectors if if you need to if you need them okay whenever you need them and um, you can use them so similarly um, we have vector 2 and um, we have like vector 2 dot down we also have vector 2 dot left which simply means x minus 1 and y 0 and we have vector 2 dot 1 and vector 2 dot right vector 2 dot up and vector 2 dot 0 so all of these properties which uh, this vector 2 have are are very very useful when when we are making our games okay especially if we are making 2d games then we will be using vector 2s and if you are uh, making 3d games you will be using vector 3s okay so this was pretty much all about this part i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something and if you like this video please make sure write a comment under the video's description and please give me a thumbs up that will make me feel happy so this will this uh, this is pretty much all about this video part see you next time